Take back, keep straight. In this episode, I learned that a tailwheel aeroplane can sometimes appear to have a mind of its own. Is that you? <laughs> no, that's <laughs> you. <laughs> it's all your own work. <laughs> oh dear, my heart. Welcome to the continuing adventures of The Flying Reporter. I'm being taught to fly a World War II L4 Cub, having spent the last seven years flying nosewheel aeroplanes. And by the end of today, I'm hoping to have the signature in my logbook confirming my tailwheel conversion. In the previous episode, I just about got to grips with three-point landings on grass. Today, my instructor Nigel Wilson is going to teach me tarmac landings and wheelers. Very nice, well done. Hold the stick back now and keep straight. But having done a couple of touch and goes to warm up, we leave the circuit to take a look at slipping. And the first thing Nigel demonstrates is that in a slip, the airspeed indicator can be unreliable. So what we're going to do, we're going to have a look at some slips, but we're going to leave the power on. OK. Because that's going to then limit our uh, height loss. OK. So the object of the exercise is just to get the feel of what it feels like where the nose attitude is and what it feels like from a, an uncomfortable on your backside point of view, because everything will feel wrong. <laughs> if I just bring the nose up to okay, sort of 70 knots or so, it's pretty much on the horizon probably, as you can see. So if I want to do a slip to the uh, left, I'm going to use right rudder, left aileron, OK? So here we go then. So I'm going to put the rudder in and the aileron together. OK, and keep the nose in the same position. Now, you don't have to go you know, too as mad as this if you want, unless you really want to, OK? But we have got a rate of descent on there. And look at the airspeed, it's saying about 85 knots, but it's not because the nose is in the same position. If I go back to level flight again, you'll find the speed will come back to where it should be, yeah? Right. Slipping is achieved by crossing the controls. The ailerons one way, the rudder the other. On final approach to land, it can be used to lose height without building airspeed. So when you uh, did a slip to the right, it was yeah. nose to the left. Yeah, you, you, you slip in the direction that you want to go. So, you know, if, I, if my body is looking to the right of the nose, that's called a right-hand slip. So it goes nose left and we're slipping to the right. So in yeah. respect It's of, the lowest wing. Yeah, so in respect of the... when you've got a crosswind, Today, so yeah. today, if the wind was from the left, we'd put the nose to the left, yeah? After practising slipping for myself, we deliberately approached the runway too high to see if I could use the technique to get us down safely. I've slipped before in the PA28 countless times, but slipping in the cub is far more effective. Well, want, the secret when you want to descend on final approach is if you're too high, the very first thing you do is close the throttle. Right? Yeah. It seems oh, obvious. <laughs> You'd be surprised how many people don't, and they certainly start to put flaps down and, you know, and side slip and say, well, what about taking the power off? <laughs> OK, round you go, and uh, when you're ready, car feet hot. And let's close the throttle then, nice and gently, and keep speed at 70. So close the throttle right up. That's it, so there's your runway. You want to slip into wind, remember, so nose to the left. Get the nose left to start with, that's it. There you go. There you go, so you see how much it comes down quite quickly, yeah? Over final. So you're turning left, so you need more, either less rudder or more aileron. That's it. So come on. That's it. Now you want more rudder and less aileron. There you go. So now let's get it all sorted out straight again before we get too low. That's it. And sort the speed out. There you go. So that's it. And then you have to put the nose down again. Well done. Uh, there we so go. That's good. Be happy where I am. Yeah, it makes fun anyway. That's fine. Let's get up. Oh, that's fine. Well done. A little bit of left wing down. A little bit of right rudder. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> Good morning, That's it, balance it. Balance it to fly, to accelerate. Car be cold. That's it. Oh, no, good. That felt like an utter shambles, but Nigel seems pleased to see that I went around. 
That's the sort of thing I want to see. I do have aircraft in the circuit. You've had it too easy so far. So basically, we came down, you had a bit of sink, okay? Uh, so you didn't quite get the three points, so we bounced and went back in the air again. Uh, oh no, you, 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 you ballooned, that's what happened. You yeah. ballooned to start with, which you corrected nicely with a little bit of power. But then what happened, we sank quite quickly and you didn't have the three-point attitude. So the tail came down, increased the angle attack and we went airborne again. So at that point, correctly, you decided to go around. But the aeroplane ain't going to climb in that attitude. Right. All right? So even on the go-around, and it should be the same in your aeroplane as well, in the go-around, we need speed, yeah? So if we're really slow, you need to balance lowering the nose without sinking back onto the ground. So it's a balancing exercise once again. Yeah. To try and keep the aeroplane flying parallel to the ground, accelerating to the best rate of climb or the best angle of climb, and then initiating the climb again. So you did everything correctly, apart from the initial angle that we held when we put the power on for the go-around. Right. Okay. All right? Yeah, cool. OK, you've got control. I've got control. There's something about flying the tail dragger that's making my brain hurt. Everything Nigel has just told me is obvious, but for some reason that three-point attitude is screwing with my mind. Now it's time to step the training up a gear. Taking off on a hard runway is going to be less forgiving, especially as this one is just 10 metres wide. Will I come to love this, Nigel? You will. <laughs> this is proper flying. Yeah, yeah. OK, so you're going to have to be a little more deft with your feet here, probably. All right? Haven't got the luxury effect of the grass dampening the yaw. <laughs> so what we'll do, we'll, this is a narrower bit of tarmac, so we'll go up a little bit further till we get to the numbers, because then it gets a little wider, It'll give you a little bit more of a more of a head start. And once again, you want to try and stay in the middle, OK? OK, they get past the runway lights on this side, and then it'll widen a little. So the bottom line is, if we're going to go off the side of the runway, we definitely want to go to the right, because they've got all that lights. grass before the runway lights, and this side we've not got very far before the runway lights. Right? OK, so, yeah. so, when you're ready then, so if heels on the floor, make sure they're not on the brakes, add a little bit of power, make sure you keep straight, stick right back, that's good. Rest of the power, off you go. Full power and stick forward so you can see where you're going. Go on, stick forwards, forwards, off the brakes. That's it, you got it. Okay, up we go into the air. Hold her up, go on, hold her up. That's it. Well done, good. Right, we could have a crack at a landing on that one then. <laughs> beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> Golf Charlie November turning final. Golf Charlie November Roger Service Wind is indicating 150 degrees 1 zero knots. Golf Charlie November. Very difficult for me to think about crosswinds, you know, got everything <laughs> else going on. <laughs> well, it's straight down the runway according to the windsock at the moment. Not according to her, though. No, not according to her, no. It'll be a little bit from the left up here as we get down. You tell me if you want your head left or right, up to you. Uh, that's all right there. Okay, I'll try and keep it still then. 17, 70 miles an hour. That's it, leave the power there now. Well done. Ground out, ground out, take the power off. And three points. Three points. Well done. Perfect. That's it. And just keep straight with the stick back. Hey. There you go. You see, not as easy, not as hard as it was, was it? Golf Charlie number the final. On the next landing, I find out why they say you must keep flying a tail dragger until you come to a complete stop. That's it. They keep the nose up a little bit. That's it. Go on. That's it. Well done. Good. Keep it there. A little bit more aileron or less rudder. That's it. Keep it in, go on, keep it in. And now let's straighten it all up. There you go, perfect. And 70. Onto the hard. Hold well on. Leave the power on a little bit. Just a little bit. That's it. So fly level, round out. 
are off. Big back, keep straight. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Is that you? <laughs> no, it's <that's> you. <laughs> <laughs> it's all your own work. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, my heart. <laughs> so, now you know what they mean by dancing on your feet. Tailwheel flying is certainly a lot of fun, especially when you have such a relaxed and experienced instructor. Now, I bring you news of a special live episode of The Flying Reporter. This Saturday, the 12th of December, at 1300 Zulu, I'll be broadcasting from Earl's Cone Aerodrome. I shall be getting up close and personal with the T6 Harvard, showing you around its cockpit, and Nigel from Anglian Warbirds will be answering your questions. I'll also give you a sneak preview of my training in the Harvard. So please put a note in your diary and join us for this extra special event. It's time now to knuckle down to some wheeler landings. Nigel demonstrated one in the last episode. Now it's my turn. So can you remember the wheeler I did yesterday? Yes, you keep a bit of power on, feel for the wheels. As soon as the wheels touch, gentle nudge forwards, forward. Yeah. Then take the power off gently and we have to progressively use more forward stick to maintain the level attitude. We don't want to put the nose down, just to maintain it. Eventually you'll get the stick all the way forwards, and then the tail will sink of its own accord when we run out of speed. So the only thing with this type of landing is it takes up a lot more runway, so... Might have to slip a little bit here. <laughs> God, it's all going on. <laughs> so nose up a little bit more, that's it. Keep the slip on, go on now, more aileron, more aileron. That's it. See how you come down now, yeah? Much, much better. Keep it there. Keep it there. We're going to go for the grass. And let's put it straight again. There you go. So it's much better to slip early on yeah. and then get it sorted out again before you get close to the ground. So 70 miles an hour is what we're after. That's it. So ease the power back a little bit now. That's good. Keep it coming down. OK, so round out, add a little bit of power now, and fly it onto the ground. What am I doing? I'm yeah, fly onto the ground. Oh, 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 Full power. That's it. OK, I've got control. You have control. Right, here we go. Look, so I'm flying it onto the ground, so a bit of less power. OK, when the wheels touch, I push forward on the stick. OK, like that. OK. This was something that took a lot of getting used to. Runway? Oh, you have seen the runway. <laughs> Your head was in <laughs> Sorry, my fault. Right, leave the power there. Round out. That's it. Now try and find the ground. Stick, oh. forward. Stick forwards. Hold it there. Good. And then take the power off. Keep straight. Power right off. That's it. Straight. Keep those in that position. There she goes. Now the stick right back. Right back, all the way. Go on, that's it. And then come to a stop. Good. Just when I think I've got it, it all goes wrong again. That's it. So feel for the ground. Nice oh. and gentle. <laughs> what the f <laughs> I've got control you again, control. that's fine. OK, so here we go, feel for the ground, like this, and then nose forwards, OK? <laughs> Nigel makes it look easy. That's it, so bring the power back a little bit. That's it, keep coming down. Right, ground out, now gently feel for the ground, very gently, gently, and stick forwards now. Well done, good. Not too far forwards. That's it, try and keep it level. That's right, it will settle down now we're over the trees. Wait for it. Oh, f Oh, steady. Oh, <laughs> it's because... You have to arrest, have another go now. Take the power off, go on, take power off, power off. OK, power Fly off, down. power off. OK, power off. 
Okay, that's it. Not too far forwards. Keep straight. Power off. Not too far nose down. And round out. Feel for it. That's it. No. Forward stick. Just a little bit. That's it. Not too much. And the stick right back. And I've got control. Got control. Can't be cold. cold. Much better, good, yeah. That was much nicer, That's yeah. coming now, yeah. Far back. That's it. Nice and easy to stick now. That's it. But gently, gently feel bad. A little bit of left aileron. Flip it into the wind. That's it. That's good. Well done. Left aileron. Left aileron. That's it. Well done. That's good. Oops. Not too much nose down. No, don't doubt the brakes. That's it. Stick back now. And I've got control. Yeah, control. Okay, can't be cold. I think I might have cracked it. It's really difficult to explain why I'm finding this so hard. All I can say is that it's like ripping up everything I've learnt about landing and starting all over again. Okay, let's have a go to three pointer then. Okay. That's fine. I think I'm just a bit saturated. That's yeah, all. And, yeah, I, I, and, and, a bit, and a bit tired. Yeah, we'll do a three pointer now. Yeah. That, that was good. That worked. And the, the one oh, before okay, that was down, good. That's it. Great. Stick back. I'm oh, sorry. Sorry. Very good. See? Natural. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. I'm very happy to call it quits and to yeah, sign you off with that one. Okay, Seriously, cool. that's fine. Oh, thanks, Nigel. How's that then? It's a lot of work. It is a lot of work, isn't it? Yeah. So I still don't quite know how, but Nigel has signed me off on the tailwheel conversion. None of it was pretty. There were a couple of fluky landings, but apart from that, fairly hairy. And I suppose the thing is now I just need to practice and practice and practice and eventually get the hang of it. That's all for this episode. Remember, join me live from the Harvard cockpit, Saturday 12th of December, 1300 Zulu. Fly safely, my friends.